I'm Alison. I'm a final year Hispanic Studies and Italian student, so languages from Greater London, Essex, that little pocket, um, from quite an English-speaking family. So most of my languages has come from um, school, education, and then just um, interest. I chose languages because when considering what I wanted to do for university, it was the thing that I knew I would still be able to enjoy three to four years later, just as much as when I started. And I chose Warwick because it's a campus university, so you get a sense of community and security, and also because of its surroundings, which may be quite interesting because of Coventry, but there's lots of fun things to do. You've got very picturesque areas such as Kenilworth uh, and Warwick and then in Coventry and Leamington you've got very social aspects as well as the indoor water park, laser tag, areas such as that in Coventry which I'm very excited to open up again. Academically speaking I really enjoyed the fact that I could do translation, it's my main interest uh, in regards of languages and more generally speaking I would say it's the sports and societies, so I've been a member of mixed hockey my entire university career and it's really made my experience. I would highly recommend joining a sports club or a society at university. I was fortunate enough to get a full year abroad um, without the effects of Covid, so I went to Bogota, the capital city of Colombia, and Genoa in Italy, which most people know from the football team there. To be completely honest, the first few days, maybe even the first weeks or so, probably aren't the highlight of the year abroad. You're in a new country, you're with uh, new people, and you're speaking a foreign language. But this is what ultimately makes it a huge highlight of the year, because everything that you achieve there, it, it's not, it's not given, given to you. You've had to earn it. And that's what ultimately creates it into a, a massive highlight of an experience. job seeking, the fun series of job seeking, but in the meantime I'm also looking forward to kickstarting my career in translation, so freelance translation, uh, whilst I also look for a full-time job so that then I can continue translating in my spare time. So I would really consider what's important to you. To me that was enjoying my degree as much at the end as I did at the beginning. At Warwick you have the advantage of being able to do different degree combinations so if your brain is fortunately wired to do for STEM subjects as much as languages uh, you can do those combinations economics and Spanish or humanities linguistics and Italian so just really consider what you want to get out of university and find where and how that can be facilitated.